in order to develop better treatments for patients, we need an accurate and reliable response assessment criteria. Uh, the problem in for brain tumors is that the phenomenon of pseudoprogression occurs commonly uh, following radiochemotherapy or immunotherapies, making it difficult to know whether patients are really responding. And then also the use of bevacizumab that affects vascular permeability also complicates the determination of response. And so uh, in 2010, we proposed the RANO criteria, which has become the standard response assessment for uh, brain tumors. But to address the issues of pseudoprogression, there have been modifications in recent years, including the modified RANO criteria and the immunotherapy RANO criteria. And these basically require patients to stay on treatment if the scans are worse and have a confirmation scan before they come off study. So we recently compared the original RANO criteria with modified RANO and uh, IRANO criteria. And essentially, the benefit of confirmation scans is much less than we had thought. I think with the exception of the first three months after radiochemotherapy, confirmation scans are probably not helpful. And so we recently completed the manuscript for RANO 2.0 that updates the response assessment criteria, and it will reduce the need for confirmation scans. And then importantly, instead of separating high-grade gliomas with one criteria and low-grade gliomas into a separate criteria, we will have a single common criteria for both high and low-grade gliomas, regardless of their therapies. So this will be the basis of RANO 2.0 which hopefully will be published in the next few months.